Bleaching your hair is something many people have done. Justin Bieber's done it, Kim Kardashian's done it, Slim Shady's done it. But one 19 year old girl literally melted her hair off after she bleached it on her own. Kids, don't try this one at home. Welcome back to Inform Overload, I'm Charlotte Del Rey. Smash that subscribe if you need a place to get your news and follow the IO team on Instagram. Before I get into this video, tell me in the comments if you could have any hair color other than your own, what hair color would you want? I've always like wanted to try platinum blonde. Cause I really like Marilyn Monroe, but I'd probably like never go through with it, to be honest. Unless I had to dye my hair for like an acting role or something. Share your responses down there in those comments, and while you do that, I'm gonna tell you about a horrific at home bleaching experience that will definitely make you think twice before bleaching your hair yourself again. 19 year old Josie Laro is a nursing assistant from North Dakota. She has dark brown hair and blue eyes. But like many people, Josie was bored with being a brunette, and she wanted to experiment by going blonde. Now, I will never advise to anyone to bleach their own hair. If you want to go blonde, go for it, but go get it done professionally. With the exception, of course, if you are a trained hairstylist, you're allowed. But if you're not, you should know that bleach is a really harsh substance. I mean, people use bleach to clean because it literally kills most, if not all, bacteria. Imagine what a substance like that can do to your hair and skin if you're not careful. Josie found that out the hard way when she purchased a bottle of Salon Care Prism Lights Bleach. This particular brand is pretty cheap, it's around $3.99 per bottle. Josie already bleached her hair twice before and nothing happened, so she felt confident she could do it again. But the third time did not end up how she planned. Within 20 minutes of applying the bleach to her hair, Josie began to notice an intense burning sensation on her scalp. She took off her shower cap and her nose was overwhelmed by the smell of burning hair. She jumped straight into the shower to wash off the bleach, but as she ran her fingers through her hair, she watched in horror as chunks of her locks fell onto the floor of her shower. Josie was left with short, discolored, uneven, and extremely damaged hair. Ooh, that's a huge nope. My scalp is itchy just thinking about that. Actually, that's because I haven't washed my hair today. Oh, come on, neither of you. Give me a break. Josie was quoted saying, It looked like a huge pile of spaghetti or noodles in the shower. I felt so sick. It was like something out of a horror movie. All the hair on the back side of my head fell off, but the front was the same, so it was all uneven. Josie spent the next three days crying at home, unsure of what to do next. She decided the best plan of action was to ask the good old trusty interwebs for help. Good old trusty interwebs. So she posted about her experience online in a beauty Facebook group. Thankfully, a local hairdresser responded and offered to help. After about five hours, what was left of Josie's hair was salvaged and fixed. The hairdresser used serums and protein treatments. But one thing is for certain, Josie will never bleach her hair at home again. If Josie's story wasn't enough to make you reconsider bleaching your hair yourself, consider this. Scalp burns caused by hair bleaching can result in permanent hair loss, also known as scarring alopecia. If you do want to bleach your hair at home, you can do it successfully, but the risks are pretty high, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Never shampoo your hair right before bleaching. Oils in your scalp can help protect your skin against the bleach. Stay away from 40V peroxides or higher unless you're a professional. Don't bleach your hair more than once on the same day. It definitely takes more than one bleaching treatment to lighten darker hair. Right after bleaching, hair is very fragile and brittle. Wait a few weeks before bleaching again. Alrighty guys, that is all I have for you on it. It is time to respond to some comments. Blazian Evolve said, just sub yesterday and so far I love the personality from each of you guys. Um, thanks so much. Twilight the Vampire Husky said, I watch IO as the editing is amazing. Hey, there you go Tessa. The hosts are really funny. Hey, that's me, I'm a host. I actually learned something. Wow, good for you. And I'm always excited for the next video. Hey. Johnny Smoke said, where's Johnny? He's the most interesting. Johnny's taking right now, he's busy. Your mom Greg said, no offense, but Rebecca sounds like she needs to use the loo. No offense, but saying no offense does not give you a free pass for being offensive. Also, what does a person sound like that needs to use the loo? That, that makes zero sense. Oh, I'm so sorry, she had to use the loo. Ooh, who uses the loo? Everyone. I love said, why was I subscribed to this channel? I've never seen this channel before. You see, this is the power of potatoes. You sub even though you had no idea you subbed. Welcome to the end screen. This means the video is over. Keep watching IO by clicking this playlist. And obviously, if you enjoyed this video or if you learned something today, hit that like and subscribe and turn on those notifications. And I will see you in a future IO video.